the impact of global sea level rise may be measured in a whole bunch of different ways. Impacts on people's lives and on their livelihoods. And from a government scale, impacts on the economies of entire nations. If we are uncertain about sea level rise and its consequential impact on coastal flooding, we neither know how much damage to expect nor how much money we should spend on protecting those environments. So reducing the uncertainty around sea level rise is of net benefit to everybody. Around our coasts in the developed countries we have significant cities, many of which are vulnerable to coastal flooding, big storm surges. And those big storm surges as sea level rises will become more frequent and the extreme ones will become more and more damaging. We need to be able to plan for how to improve the sea defences for those coastal cities. And then we need to think also about coastal communities that are perhaps more vulnerable and not able to protect themselves in that same way with uh, massive investments in their sea defences. So we need to think about um, a whole variety of adaptive responses to sea level rise, some of which will maybe build the sea walls higher, some of them may be requiring relocation, some of them may be protecting natural ecosystems around the planet which can support and survive a certain rate of sea level rise but won't be able to survive the really rapid sea level rise that we could see if areas like Thwaites Glacier start to contribute much more rapidly.